Welcome to our living room. This is going to be the highly anticipated review of the Living Spaces Utopia sofa. We actually had it custom made into a right facing chase sectional, but you can customize it any shape you'd like. Um, my whole intention of this video was initially because it was a video that I was hoping to come across when we were in our contemplation phase, and there just really wasn't a video out there that went, you know, fully into all the questions that I had. So I'm hoping to ease anyone's mind if they are in the contemplation phase. And then secondly, a review of this couch was actually highly requested. So I think I wasn't alone in my quest for clarity. So I'm hoping to help you guys out. Um, I think another huge reason why I want wanted to do this video was because if you look on the website, the reviews are absolutely terrible. So had we just gone off of those, uh, we would have been missing out on an incredible sofa. So um, I'd like to just get into it. First and foremost, we picked the fabric called Caitlin Flax. So it's actually 80% polyester and 20% linen. Uh, the great thing about polyester is that it's very durable. Um, I can't say spill resistant, but it's easy to clean. And a lot of sofas and furniture pieces are now made with polyester for that exact reason. We actually did, so we've had this couch for about a month, and we actually did have a stain. Uh, one of our cats threw up on the center cushion, which, let me take my shoes off. Um, you can't identify where the spot is at all. If you're noticing, like, the cushions are wrinkled, we were both lounging on the couch, and I didn't um, <clears throat> come down and fluff the cushions or anything, which is probably something I should address Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, in regards to the throw up, obviously that was my worst nightmare. I came downstairs and it was just yellow vial. And I'm like, what are we going to do? Uh, one really particular thing worth mentioning is that they specify in store and online that you do not want to use any water or water-based like solvents when you're cleaning the couch. So we happen to have this, which I used on the cat's throw up. It's called Tough and Stuff or Tough Stuff. And it's just a multi-purpose cleaner. Um, I mean, it is designed for fabrics and carpets and vinyl, but what I did was took the cushion cover off. So that's one question that I know someone wanted me to address. They're all removable zipper cushions. Let me show you that. Um, so I removed the cushion and then what I did was sprayed that foam directly on the stain but I put my hand in like several layers of paper towel. Like, so if you were to unzip one of these cushions, I was able to put my hand in with the paper towels, keep it underneath the stain. So when I did this, the foam solvent, um, it wouldn't leak through to the other side. So it was really interesting. It actually all absorbed into the paper towel and, and then it dried. So we haven't had an issue getting a stain out up until this point, but, um, as you can see, I'll show you on one of the throw pillows. Um, there's a zipper. So all of them have that. The only thing you can't unzip and remove would be, you know, the actual base of the couch. But other than that, they all come off. I haven't tried my hand at putting them in the washing machine yet. But what I did do was I went, if you look on living spaces, they have the same sofa in a chair option. And... The reviews on there seem to be like very supportive and all for all for the purchase. So, I mean, it's the same exact item except on a smaller scale. So a lot of people on there um, were like very much so celebrating the fact that they could remove the covers and throw them in the washing machine. So we haven't tried that. I do think if you do that, it's probably more inevitable that the fabric will begin to pill. But to be honest with you, the idea of fabric pilling doesn't really intimidate me as much these days just because if you haven't seen there's like this small little like uh, fabric shavers you just literally run it along there and it removes all the topical pilling and the couch looks brand new so I think with any so like for me in my opinion this sofa is so ideal and the closest thing I could find to the restoration hardware cloud couch so in a year if things start to pill I have no issue using the fabric shaver in fact, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I don't want to jinx myself, but if you watch the videos of people doing like before and afters of removing the pilling from their fabric, it's kind of satisfying to watch. Um, I actually 
have a list here of questions that people wanted me to address, so I'm gonna pull that up. Um, so I told you about the stain removal that we've experienced so far. Um, we personally didn't do any type of stain guard prior. I mean, I'm sure you can do something like that, but we, we didn't move forward with any preparation. Um, in regards to comfort, so Nick, uh, my boyfriend is very particular about comfort. So typically when I find something that's aesthetically pleasing, the next step is, will it pass the comfort test? So when we were in the process of looking for a sofa, I had considered every possible sofa available that would be considered an RH cloud dupe. Uh, you might see that Ashley Furniture has one. Um, I know Kiva Brent recently in one of her YouTube videos went in an Ashley Furniture home store and I think she does a brief like, um, stop at that cloud alternative couch and I mean I can't speak to it I haven't personally seen it but I know it's wildly back ordered and um, I think their fabric option is more of a stark white whereas this is honestly for some reason this seemed less intimidating for me because it looks white when you're in person and um, it photographs very bright but it does have some like a warmer linen weave and to me that feels far um I don't know, less daunting. It feels like you have a little bit more forgiveness in regards to staining. And to me, it just kind of pulls out the warmth from our flooring. Um, so Ashley Furniture is another cloud dupe alternative. I haven't sat in it, but I did go to every possible furniture warehouse. And I found one that looked strikingly similar to this. It was, um, the cushions were not as deep and it was filled a trillium fill. So you'll probably see that, um, pretty commonly in other sofa options. And the issue with Trillium, in our opinion, is that it's quite tough. So when you sit on it, you don't have that like feeling of being enveloped in the sofa. So the inserts and filling for this Utopia couch from Living Spaces is actually a down alternative filled bag. So in the center of the cushion, it's down alternative filled and then it's wrapped in foam. And the reason why I'm really drawn to that is number one, it's gonna require you to do less fluffing. Our last sofa was 100% alternative down and not only, you know, after a couple sits did it look completely deflated and they're heavy cushions to have to remove and refluff, but we constantly had little feathers like all over the house. They'd poke you in the leg. With this, because it is wrapped in foam, you're never going to endure any of that. Um, and to me, I just think the longevity because of the foam is going to be far grander because there's more of a... Um, a support system. Just the nature of foam is going to be more dense than just a down or alternative down fill. So for those reasons, I'm like very drawn to this. And when Nick and I went into the store to sit in some of the Trillium filled couches, he was immediately like, there's no way. And I told him, I'm so thankful that he like vetoed those because it led us to the living spaces store and we were able to find the sofa. Um, so another question that someone had was, did you just find this like online or did you physically go in store? And here's the deal. So my aunt bought this couch a couple years ago, which at the time Living Spaces was referring to as the Haven sofa. It was significantly cheaper, but identical. Um, from what I understand, that one was alternative down filled. So I think the wearability was a little less reliable and I think they realized there was a demand. This is completely all my theory, but if you see her sofa, it's identical. It's just named something different. So they discontinued the Haven and then released the Utopia, which was a higher price point, but same, same couch. Um, kind of lost my train of thought. Where was I going with that? Oh, so I'd seen her couch. Um, it was new, so it's kind of hard to gauge the wearability of a new sofa, but um, while I'm doing this now. Um, but I had seen the reviews and I love the couch so much, just in photos. And I'm like, I just refuse to just take those terrible reviews on this couch, you know, as gospel. So I'm gonna go into the store. We drove out uh, probably like 45 minutes, walked in, saw the couch, sat on it. It immediately, sorry, I gotta adjust that cushion. I think I already mentioned to you that I just came down. We were lounging on the couch last night, so I didn't like move the cushions or fix it up at all. Um, but anyway, we walk in, we see the sofa, Nick sits on it, immediately says like, yes, this passes the test. 
um, which to me was music to my ears. And then it was just a matter of discussing fabric and getting real with the person in there and asking them, like, listen, we have two cats, you know, and what if something spills? Like, we are the type to, like, at night want to have snacks on the sofa. So we wanted to know uh, what our options were. Um, I guess for the video, I could have kind of fluffed up the fabric, but I wanted to show you it in real time. I don't mind this look of, like, it have it being sat in. I feel like it makes it approachable and comfy. Um, so another thing that people have asked me about is, you know, do you have to fluff the cushions? Do the cushions slide forward? Um, I have not run into any of that issue. Um, it's just as simple as like running your hand over it and it starts to totally smooth out. Um, and then I am always a fan of like in the morning, removing cushions and fluffing them up and um, straightening things up. It just kind of feels like a morning routine to me. So by no means does it feel obligatory. Like if I weren't to do that, it doesn't look super worn in, but our, our down couch that we had previously definitely did. It just looked completely deflated. And I think I mentioned to you before, down cushions are so heavy. So it was just such a, I'm going to say burden, that might be a bit dramatic, but it was such a burden to have to remove those and fluff them up. With this, I feel totally confident if we're having company over and I don't have time to like adjust the cushions. It just stays really beautiful and like maintains its form. So let me go back to the list to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, in regards to like the Restoration Hardware couch, the cloud, the coveted cloud, what's the difference? Number one, price point, um, there's just no way we'd probably be able to afford like one modular portion of that sofa. So I think price point is obviously going to be my largest um, comment in regards to comparison. But secondly, from my understanding, the Restoration Hardware Couch is a down sofa. So I do think the maintenance in regards to like fluffing it and making sure that it's still visually appealing is probably more so than this one because of the presence of the foam wrap. So um I I don't know. I don't feel at all like we're settling. I love this couch. Um, let me see. I think I've kind of addressed all of that. Um, again, it's 80% polyester, 20% linen, so we don't have to worry about any um, durability issues. Polyester, like I mentioned, is like a super common thing for new furniture these days. Um, it's so comfortable. It does come with two of these throw pillows. And then one thing that I haven't shared with you and I didn't really style it, but um, we fell in love with the couch and realized, should we get the chair? Um, but the matching chair, I think on living spaces is like $800. So we weren't in a position to do that. And I have no idea how, but I ended up finding the matching chair on Facebook Marketplace for 300. So we went and picked it up. Um, here it is. Nyx was reading in that chair. So it came with two pillows and it's a couple years old. I think she got it, well, a few years old. I think she got it in 2017. Um, but I'm under the impression that it's actually the Haven sofa because the pillows are completely different. Let's set my list down. I don't know if you can tell on video, but these are like a down pillow, whereas the ones from the sofa have more of like a feeling of being cotton filled. So I prefer this. It gives more of a structured appearance, but it's still something you can completely sink into. So the other thing I've noticed is this cushion. I mean, it definitely has kind of a, a more of a wrinkle now, I think just because of usage, but it is not something that would prevent me from getting this. I think it's such an extraordinary set. Normally I just have this additional throw pillow on the couch just because it gives it more of that like cloud look but um I just wanted to show you the couch as it came but you see the difference and it's not like it's this one three years old you can feel like a physical difference um in the insert so I think they must have just re um formulated or kind of realized there was a demand for this couch and then maybe couldn't afford filling them with down I don't know but this to me is a significant difference so I prefer the new utopia sofa but by no means am I complaining I think this was such a steal and it's supposed to be like a comfy chair so I'm completely fine if this one looks a little more worn um there are some pilling spots on the arm you can see there so we need to get one of those shavers but again like it's not to me all of these small mentions are so worth the couch for the price point um 
there's no sense of like, what have we done or did we make the wrong decision? I am absolutely in love with it. Everyone who sits on it is like so smitten by it. The one mention that they did say in store was that um, for maybe like more old older relatives, it is a low a low um, profile kind of seat. So it sits on the lower side. But honestly, we haven't had any issues with that. We had some family over for my grandma's 82nd birthday and everyone absolutely adored the couch. So There's no sense of like, oh great, I have to get up. Other than it was so comfortable and they didn't want to get up. So I hope this kind of covers everything. Again, if I missed anything, let me know. I just want you to know I was obsessively like deep diving on the internet prior to, to pulling the trigger on this. I um, obviously saw the terrible reviews, kind of refused to accept them. Then went deep on Instagram on living spaces like tagged photos and um, hashtags and tried to find anybody who had previously purchased this couch so I could see more of like, you know, an inside scoop, see it in someone's actual living room instead of just the stock images on the website. And um, I think I maybe even reached out to a couple of people and just said like, how is this sofa holding up? I just, it was really important to me that if we purchased this sofa, it was gonna be long-term and we weren't gonna have to regret the decision. So. I've definitely done the homework for you and I can say with confidence and complete adoration, we are so happy with our decision. Um, another thing worth mentioning, I don't know if it's like pandemic related because everyone was stuck inside and wanting to redo their space, but there was quite a wait for this couch. But again, so worth it and I do it all over again. Um, I think for a lot of us, you know, we're drawn to this like luxurious light colored cloud inspired couch and then you know our boyfriend or partner is like not completely sold because at least in my in my experience sometimes I'm more drawn to the aesthetic of something rather than the functionality of it but this checks all of those boxes it's comfortable it's something you can sink into Nick looks forward every day to coming home and being on it and I look forward to looking at it so it's completely um user friendly uh, Again, I think I was kind of all over the place. Um, oh, the delay. So they had quoted us about like six to eight weeks and it actually took closer to 10. And they just said that this was in high demand and seriously back ordered. Um, so I had called them and they said just the sofa portion was ready, but the um, Chase Lounge Ottoman portion wasn't. And we had company coming to stay for my grandma's birthday. So I was like, just have them deliver the sofa. At least we can have it in the space. And then shortly thereafter, the ottoman arrived and it was so easy to assemble. That's another thing. They will ask you if you want to pay for an assembly fee. And honestly, it just was such an unnecessary expense because if you don't, what they'll do is bring the sofa inside for you and then you're left to just like remove the plastic and cardboard and then connect the pieces. But it's not modular in the sense that each one of these cushions are separate. This sofa is all one piece and then the chase is another piece. So at the bottom, there are little hooks that attach and it was simple as unpacking it and attaching the two and we saved a couple hundred bucks. So I definitely think if you have someone there to help you, you have a couple hands, you don't need them to assemble it for you. Um, Again, this was kind of impromptu. I've been promising this video, but my tripod isn't working and there's no one here to film me doing this. So I thought instead of making you wait longer, I would just do a quick video where I'm not even in it and at least get your answers um, addressed. So I apologize. This isn't like the, the best possible form of a video, but I wanted to get it to you nonetheless. So I hope this helps. I know that since I've started this channel, we have now moved into the new house and I owe you living room tours, kitchen tours, dining room tours, bedroom tours. Um, we've been kind of cleaning and vacuuming, but please stay with me. Thank you for your patience and I will um, get this content a roll in because I enjoy doing it. It's just, I'm, I'm still learning, you know, the tripod all of, it, of it all and the recording process, but um, I hope this helps. If you aren't one to be like super communicative on YouTube and you're just more of a viewer, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I've definitely shown more of the home on there. And if you have any specific questions about the couch, and again, you're not in a position to like leave a comment below, feel free to reach out on, on that platform and I will be happy to get back to you. My Instagram is Hannah Kirk Interiors. Kirk is K-I-R-K. Um, 
I think to finish this out, I'll just do like a slow pan. But again, 10 out of 10 would recommend this. I absolutely love it and I hope you do too.